everything in and we try to keep our sin to ourselves, that's what gets us caught up. See, Christ, he was an open book, literally. Literally. He was an open book because he was the word. So if you want to know anything about him, all you got to do is open that book. So when somebody say walking in the light, that means in every area of my life is transparent. I'm not hiding nothing because see, when you hide something, that leaves that open door for that devil to, to tug at. To tug at. Those dark spots is where he hides at. So if I'm walking in the light and you can see, <clears throat> then there's a wretch. But somehow he always make it through. Again, God is getting glory through that. Because I can look at somebody boldly in the face and say, yes, Darren is a wretch, but the spirit in there, I can make it. Amen. And see, that's what we're supposed to be doing because, again, when you sit there and you try to hide something in the dark, you're not letting it go. You're not giving it to God. So, so you have to walk in the light. That means everything has to be transparent. Yes, I fell. But God, and through the blood that cleanses me, I can get back up and keep going. Amen. That's right. Because see, this generation, we get beat down and we want to hide it, and, and the devil will have us being ashamed of it. We was all made out of dirt. Amen. And no matter how you dress up, dirt is still dirt. Amen. Period. Some, some people put fancy suits on, you still dirt. You were still made from dirt. You still fall short from the glory of God, all of us. But through the spirit that God breathed in us, and we let it lead, and we humble enough to say, yes, I am dirt. I am not worthy on my own. See, again, all of these things play in together because it all goes back to being humble. Because, see, if I'm prideful, I'm going to think that the suit or the outside is what makes a man. No. You are all molded and breathed into. So whichever one you feed the most is the one that's going to show the most. And I have to get rid of all them dark spots that I have in me. And I have to walk totally transparent to everybody. I have to fall sometimes in front of people and let them see me get lifted back up to give them hope. Amen. So when they're trying to hide in the corner because they fell and they in shame, if they see me fall in front of them and look up and say, look, Lord, yes, I messed up, but I'm giving it to you. Amen. Because, see, that, that's we got to realize the battle in ours. We're battling the devil, and he's slick. They'll have you stuck in that corner in darkness, telling you, oh, well, yeah, you thought you was a Christian, but why did you do that? Amen. Because I forgot the spirit in me. You know, and, and my human nature took over. But again, but God, and what he did on the cross for me by shedding his blood gave me Amen. the opportunity to get up and look up right. and hand whatever I did up to him. I don't have to carry that around. I can be that light for other people. You know, so we don't, we don't walk in darkness. Amen. That's contrary to the word. You know, and, and, and don't ever let the devil tell you you ain't worth it. That's right. Because if you wasn't worth it, then the gospel ain't, ain't good for nothing. Because, see, Jesus came down here and died. Not saying that you want to walk and you want to stumble all the time, but if you do, that's where grace and mercy comes in. Amen. That's right. And then in works. This is one that, that, that's hard for a lot of people because, see, we get hung up on them other ones. And we get to where we battling what we're going through in our lives and we ain't ready to work. Because, see, it, it, again, it, it's all about me. Well, Lord, I'm going through this. I'm going through I'm, 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 I'm. You're not working. Amen. It's work for you to do. That's right. Get that thing to me and go to work. But, see, we don't do that. We get down on ourselves. So, and, and, and that, that goes back to living in the dark. Look, get over that thing and get back to work. Okay, you fell. Here, I'm going to give you a hand up. Admit that you was wrong and keep on going. Give it to me and work. Hallelujah. Because I put you where I put you for a reason. I put you in the family that I put you in for a reason. 
I want you to get in there and work that thing out. They seen your before and they see your after. So now you need to walk in your new, new, newness, my fault, in your newness in front of your family, in front of your friends, in front of your relatives or whoever, and work for me. Because see, if I tell you that I have faith, but I'm not working, it's dead. I can't tell you that I have faith, that I serve the, the king of kings and the lord of lords, and then every time a storm comes, I want to cry. What is that telling everybody looking on? Like, man, you're supposed to be a child of God. Why are you crying? Ain't your God supposed to be able to save you? Again, that's what your work is. Work it out. Give that, like I said, give that thing to the Lord and keep on going. Because, see, it, it, it's easy for us to work when everything is going good. But, see, people really start looking when the chips is down. And then that's when they like, okay, hold on. Let me see what Darren's getting ready to do. You know, is he going to stay down or, or, or what is he going to do? So that, that's when God can really get his glory out of what you do. Because, see, at that time, you got a choice to make. You either going to work that thing out and give it to the Lord, or you're going to sit in it. Again, the choice is yours. But, again, this is a way of Christ. That's what he did every time. I give it to my father. It always went back here. I'm not going to deal with it. That's what, that's what we have the ability to do, but we don't do that. You know, and, and, and people will test you. So, so the other side of your works is the people that's testing you, you're supposed to pray for. Because, see, if, if, if you're coming against me and I pray for you, I'm showing you the love of God. And then you want to look at me like, hold on, man, I just did this to you and you praying for me? You're not reacting? Again, as, as workers of Christ, 